Topic number five, this is via card ladder, which is actually where we get all of our information for our buy, sell, and hold. So this is definitely a very big thing. In less than 24 hours since getting traded to the New York Yankees, there has already been $112,442.49 of Juan Soto cards that have already been sold. For context, his daily volume is just below 8900 This was to be expected with Juan Soto getting traded to the Yankees. I'm actually going to touch on this a little bit more in our buy-sell trade. He is one of the players that we are going to be talking about. So I'm going to keep this to a minimum. What do you guys think? Because it just it, – it makes sense. I mean, you're going from a very small market to arguably the biggest market in professional sports, <laughs> you know, outside of maybe L.A. Um, so it's to be expected. You guys are – I mean, look at how excited the two of you guys are as Yankees fans, right? You're not the only one. I'm already ones. looking at opening day tickets. I'm already looking at opening right, day tickets. Right. So like 90 so, bucks, not that bad. No, no, not at all. Yankee Stadium is awesome. But um, that that's it, these all you that's Yankees right. fans, man. And you, you got to look at the income levels, right, of people in New York, people in L.A. They got the money to go buy whatever Juan Soto stuff they, they, they want. So I, I, I foresee this being a nice little uptick. If you got some Juan Soto stuff, maybe, you know, right before the season, or throughout this off season or during spring training, if you're looking to get rid of it and sell it, it's going to be the time, man. Um, if you want to put it up now and hope for the, uh, the I just got traded hype, you can make some cash on that one too. I mean, we're going to touch. I on just told my that, brother but... to do that. My brother actually just, my brother in another break, he just acquired a one on one Juan Soto auto, and I told him I was like, because I literally just saw this information. I messaged him right before, and I was like, dude, I was like, you need to sell that damn card right now, and as soon as he gets it in hand, he's selling it. Which yeah. I don't blame one bit. Yeah, yeah no, the Juan Soto. What was the contract? Over. There is no contract. This is a contract year. For Soto? For Soto. That's why he this is why he's gotten traded twice in the last 18 months. He rejected the contract from the Nationals, which was like a 10 year, four hundred million dollar deal. And he rejected that contract. They traded him to the Padres. And then the Padres, they're having a little bit of cash flow um problems. So that's why they traded Soto because Soto's gonna demand such a big bag. So the Yankees are getting a hungry Juan Soto on a contract year. This dude's gonna put us on crazy damn. This dude's gonna put us on crazy numbers, especially with that short per, yeah, short porch. Yeah, man. Just God, like love Yankee Stadium. Just like your boy Judge, man. That freaking his contract Judge year was absolutely dude, epic. Dude, Judge should have gotten another yo, Judge should have gotten another 60 home runs this year, at least 55. He was on pace to have it, but he just got injured because. The Dodgers don't know how to, you know, take care of their goddamn stadium. Dude walks into a fence and it broke. You're yep. the Dodgers. Take take care of your shit. We got rather another. We got rather a good year, Judge, and that pisses me off still. Lost pisses him. me off still. No, should have Come been. on, you made. Should have Come on, been. Come on, you made enough money. He don't need no damn lawsuit. I'm just saying. <laughs> 